So last month, I leaked out a picture of the PiFi, which is a personal project I have been working on. There's been a lot of questions and interest around this project, so I just wanted to put it out there and let everybody know a little bit more about the Mark I version of the PiFi, because this little white box can put out some serious sound. Stay tuned. Welcome to Audio Architects, guys, where apparently I just don't do reviews of other people's gear, but where I'm actually reviewing something I came up with. After seeing a couple streamers out there bragging about their sound quality, I said the hell with it. I want to build my own. So several weeks ago, I did a video where I paired a Raspberry Pi with a Topping E30 DAC loaded with Volumio to bring you a DIY music streamer. However, it was ugly and I didn't like the fact that I needed an external DAC with such a simple, small device. So I decided to add the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus Pro to the Raspberry Pi and I put it in a really cool, sleek metal enclosure. Another problem I was having with that original build was a lot of unnecessary electrical noise. So me, being obsessed with getting rid of any and all noise, I bought an iFi low noise power adapter and a TP-Link travel router. That way there is little, if any, interference with this unit. Because as you know, a low noise floor is very important when you're supposed to be listening to something that sounds good. I believe in keeping things simple and I think I succeeded with this little streamer. In the clip ahead, I'll be geeking out more about the specs of the PiFi as well as what to expect from the streamer. For those of you that don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, it's a credit card sized computer used for various different applications and projects. In this case, I am using the Raspberry Pi to create a mini music streamer that can produce high quality sound. The Raspberry Pi is loaded with Volumio, an open source operating system designed to play audio files at high quality. You can use Volumio directly from your PC or Apple and Android device. With the use of plugins, Volumio can read streaming services like Spotify, Tidal, Quobuzz, with more to come in the near future. Attached to the Raspberry Pi is the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus Pro, which comes with a 192kHz 24-bit Burr Brown DAC. It has an ultra-low noise linear voltage regulator and a hardware volume control which you can use also mixer to control the output. I am curious though how the Allo Boss DAC will sound and if there's any audible difference in quality. However, the DAC Plus Pro sounds absolutely fantastic. I'm going to make another one with the Allo and I'll do A-B test to see if I hear any difference. But I think the same Burr Brown DAC chip that both DACs have is absolutely sufficient in one or the other. The unit features gold-plated RCA output connectors for easy connection to your preamp, amp, or any other device that takes an analog input. As far as connecting it to the internet, the Raspberry Pi 4 comes with onboard Wi-Fi, but I don't want to chance it and get nasty sound interference, so I purchased a small travel router by TP-Link and I connected it using a Cat6 Ethernet cable. Powering the unit is an iFi low noise power supply which actively detects and removes unwanted electrical noise introduced by noisy stock wall plugs to provide a steadier and more reliable direct current to the unit. It's active noise cancellation technology derived from military applications that acts similarly to noise cancelling headphones by measuring and inverting the signal from your power supply to create a super quiet noise floor and to filter out false frequencies introduced by common household equipment that would interfere or muddy your entertainment experience. With all these components working together, I've been able to create a truly amazing music streamer that puts out high quality sound without the need to spend $500 or more. Now, its only true limitation is that it cannot handle MQA yet. However, I think in the near future, as that type of quality becomes the standard, the DAX will have to evolve, which is what makes this unit so endearing. It's completely open-ended and can be upgraded at any time. So essentially, if this does go to market, you only have to buy one. However, However, as the technology evolves, so will this unit to be outfitted with the most current tech possible. I'm excited to see where in fact this project's going to take me, as well as curious whether this is ever going to go to market. So I'll be sending out a few units to people to uh, review and give me feedback. And from there, I, I guess I'll make my decision. So thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoy the content, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified every time I put out new content. We'll see you next week. Have a great day.